In this video, we're going to focus on how we can color the labels on the x-axis and on the y-axis. You might notice here, this is black compared to the default color, which is slightly grayish. And then here, we're going to play even a nice trick where you can create a sequence of color with two colors and it will start to keep on looping through. So let's start to explore how we can give these x and y axis a color. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' question, which is how to change the font color of the x-axis and the y-axis in Chart.js. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to control tick steps on the y scale in Chart.js. And if we scroll down here, this question came from Net2. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly, but a special thank you to Net for asking this question. And this is what Net I have asked. Hello, I like your video. Can you tell me how to change the font color of the x-axis and the y-axis? I want to change the font color to, to black more. Be, uh, sorry, because my English is bad. Well, don't worry about your English. Your English is absolutely fine. And basically what you're trying to do here is you want to make it black or darker because right now it is a slightly lighter default color. So don't worry about it. And by the way, I noticed you had another question as well regarding to dates. I will be covering that very soon as well. So let's start to work on it and what do we need to do? First thing what we need is we need to go to chartjs3.com and then getting started or this specific link here. For some reason, my Google Chrome gives this error. Why, I do not know. Anyway, on Firefox it works fine and on my other computer it works fine as well. But if we scroll down here, what I want is eventually copy this chunk of code here. Once you copy this code here, and if you want to understand what this code does, please watch this specific video here. I'm going to paste this code in here and then what I want of course is my title moving in here. So now this is done, let's do that one and let's fix this correctly, save this, refresh, there we are. So now we have our bar chart here, beautiful. Of course what we want to do now is to figure out how we can pinpoint the x scale, oh, sorry here this is the x scale labels, which are what we call the uh, label uh, ticks. And we have here as well the y axis or y scale labels. And so, what, how are we going to do that? So, if we scroll down here, all we need to do here is basically in the scales. And if you see scales here, just understand a scale is singular for axis. Well, or basically, and scale and axis are same. It's singular. So, if you talk about scales, and we have also, you might have seen here, axis with Instead of an I, it's an E. In that case, it's plural. All right, so here, scales here, refers to the axis here. But we need to pinpoint which one. In this case, by default, we already get a Y axis. So we can put in here all what we need to do here, because they are basically ticks. We call these tick labels. And these here, these lines here, is called tick marks. Same here. Tick labels is the number here. And then here, the line here, are tick marks. So what we're going to do here, we say ticks, with an S, and then in here we can say color, and the color can be anything. By default, this is the default color, and that's why you want it probably more darker. So you could make it completely black, or maybe you want it uh, hashtag 222. We do this, we can save this, make sure you put a comma here. If we save this, it is slightly, uh, this one here, so it's a Y axis, it is slightly darker, but if we make this black, you will see here it becomes very very dark this is one of the options so if you want to do another item for example maybe here at the bottom we have the x-axis you want to do the same thing but maybe you want to have some colors as well or like a trick i'm going to show you another trick here put in here the x-axis here because we're going to pinpoint on that make sure we have a comma here we get again the ticks and in the ticks here we say color but this time instead of saying just a a specific color we're going to make it here a uh, array and what will happen now is it will be random so let's say here this will be blue and another one will be black make sure this is of course a string value and once you did this you save this and now you can see here it becomes blue black blue black blue black etc etc so it keeps on doing this random and of course you can do more items here this could be red and then we have another uh, sequence it moves in sequence of three in this case so that's basically some of the options if you want only a single color what was probably in your case I would say just put it in black save that here and refresh 
there you are. So this is basically the way you can modify the colors here on your scales. So if you like this video, I highly recommend you to explore this one as well about how to fix x-axis scales in the time cartesan in Chart.js. So, and this one is really interesting probably for you specifically if you had a question about uh, working with dates. And I will make another video about that as well.